Hi everyone, it's Natch here doing another review for games and how getting 100% by completing the trophy list can help your mental fitness. Please keep in mind everything here is just my opinion based on my own life experience. There are some professional studies that would suggest I'm on the right track, but for now I'm here to just spread the word and help people look at gaming as more than just entertainment. So with that, let's jump right in. Today I'm going over Stranded Deep, developed by Beam Team Games, released for PlayStation in 2020. Stranded Deep is both single player and multiplayer. However, an internet connection is not required to earn 100%. I had never heard of this game until it became a free release. Uh, Stranded Deep looked pretty fun after watching the trailer and having now completed it, I gotta say I really enjoyed it. I thought it was very well done, so kudos to Beam Team for putting together a very solid game with a great trophy list. Okay, so before we get into the fun stuff, some of you might be asking, is this appropriate for kids to play? In short, yes it is, but let's take an organic look at it anyways. The ESRB rating for Stranded Deep is 13 and older for blood, crude humor, and mild violence. I don't really recall the humor, and the quote-unquote violence is a huge stretch <laughs> since you are hunting for survival. Uh, same goes for blood. I feel like ESRB just slapped some labels to make it a harsher restriction than it really needed to be. And uh, really that's their problem. Uh, they're very inconsistent with their reasoning and fail to take an organic look at each game when they are reading them. Uh, for me personally, I'd say it's fine for all ages. Uh, the game, again, it's about survival and that applies to all ages. If you ever hopefully never uh, find yourself in that situation. Uh, without giving away the plot, there's nothing in the game that would suggest this situation would, again, never apply to a younger audience uh, if found in that exact situation, which is essentially surviving. Uh, and the developers did nothing to go out of their way to make things that would only be suitable for an older audience. Uh, Alright, so now you may be wondering just how long will this take to get 100%? Well, to be honest, a lot of that will depend on the skill set of the player. For me, I expected Stranded Deep would take me between 22 and 42 hours to get 100%. Uh, I came in within that time, so I'm pretty confident in saying it would reasonably take anyone at least 26 hours to complete. Uh, there are no known cheats or glitches in the current version that could help lower the completion time. Multiplayer is a factor that may reduce the completion time, but I don't believe it's realistic to accomplish that uh, or doing it that route, really. Uh, it's doable, but a bit counterproductive for purposes of my channel. Uh, the other factor to determine how long this will take to get 100% is looking at the trophy list difficulty itself. Even with guides and walkthroughs, which I always suggest using if you can, I'd say Stranded Deep's trophy list is below average. Uh, and if you'd like to see the guides I use, they will be in the video description. Uh, okay, so now to the fun stuff. Uh, as you know, the whole point of my channel is to help educate and promote gaming for mental fitness. I truly believe you can improve so many mental abilities by earning 100% in a game rather than just playing it for fun. For Stranded Deep, I'd say his trophy list is a mixed mental workout. And look, games like these are great because they're similar to a physical full body workout, uh, but instead for your mind. Uh, here you can expect to build a combo of functions like mental endurance, memory function, and problem solving. The trophy that best highlights this is out of the frying pan, which is completing the game. Uh, it's basically a catch-all, since most of the trophies are necessary to obtain uh, to earn this specific one, uh, or will easily be passively earned going this route anyway. Uh, and what I like about these catch-all trophies is that they tend to help improve multiple brain functions, and that's very true here. Uh, and thankfully Stranded Deep is very forgiving <laughs> with being able to restart from where you last saved. So this is, again, a great game for every kind of player, and it's just uh, fantastic for, again, just helping improve uh, your brain functions. Um, and, you know, assuming you're uh, playing reasonable hours, uh, time frames, the consequences of, you know, failing here is just a lot more forgiving and easier than doing other things. And it's a lot more entertaining. Uh, and before we call it a wrap here, let's talk a bit about improvements. 
when I think about trophies that would have reflected Stranded Deep and have been helpful for mental fitness, I would have added one for completing the game within a certain number of days. Uh, there are others I would have liked to see, but ultimately it wouldn't have been consistent with the trophy list that was already put together, so I'm just fine leaving those out. Uh, and yeah, uh, hopefully the developers think about stuff like that uh, in the future for future installments or different series. Okay, that's a wrap. Again, I really enjoy playing Stranded Deep. I would recommend playing it if you're looking to get a mixed mental workout. For me, Stranded Deep really helped me build mental endurance. And if you have any questions about this game or mental fitness, or just want to share your experience with Stranded Deep, feel free to leave a comment or message me. I will do my best to answer any questions in a reasonable time. All right, everyone, that's another review in the bag. If you want to watch me play live and even join in on my multiplayer games, follow me on Twitch. If you'd like to hear more about mental fitness, my game previews and initial impressions, then go on over and follow my Instagram. If you'd like to help choose what game I should play next or guess how long my next game will take, you can do that over on X. That's where I do a lot of polls. Keep a look out there. Uh, and finally, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all on the next video. Bye!